hello wonderful people once again you are watching skb tv and comedy my name is samson ajikumba you can call me sk beat records once again i bring you another edition of sk beat exclusives this is whereby i bring on board musicians upcoming artists they get to talk to um, us so that we get to know about their crafts and what they have for us yeah so today i have a wonderful beautiful lady with me yes and the anya bema anya berima and sounds so any other person but a lady very soon you get to know her but before i begin i want to say um hi to apostle poko fiajokum and mrs janet ajikum they they are they, they've been very supportive to um these things that i do and i'm very grateful i want to say big hi to and the CUK, yes, he's also helping out with um, the Ministry of Victory Missions London in UK with the media and other staffs. In, in fact, he helped me to get um, a logo for all these videos that I show on my YouTube channel. So I want to say a big um, thank you to him. And also I want to say a hi to um, Amaleto. Amaleto, yeah, I know you are there. Um, I want to say that I want to say that you are doing a very good job. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. So let's go for a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm in You know, yeah. So, your name? I'm Jacqueline Oforiwa Amanfo. Jacqueline Oforiwa Amanfo. Why? Why are you using such a long name as an artist? Yeah, I think I think I've had few people suggesting that I should change it and all that. I see sometimes, I think when you see yourself to be so different from other people, I don't really like the fact that probably, let's say I'm Jacqueline Ophoria, that's so long. So if um, to be a brand, I would have to, let's say, take Lady, no, I think that's not me. What about using your own name like? Jacqueline, shorten it to be Jackie. I've had I've had a couple of people suggesting that maybe I can do it Jackie Amanfo or Abna Jackie or but I feel merely when someone sees Jacqueline or Fora Manfo because ah it didn't, it didn't, that that's 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 so weird. Why would I keep such a long name? But I feel one thing about that's one thing I I mean the the reason why I kept that name was one I like the name. Jacqueline Ofra Manfo, it's a beautiful name and I think I want to be different. I wouldn't shorten it or let's say use just Jacqueline for um, like most people do. Let's say use Jacqueline or let's say use Ofra Manfo, let's say use Ofra or just that Manfo. I want the full name so that at least that would differentiate me from the others. We are at an event and I am the MC sure. and I have the mic. I'm supposed to call the next artist to come on board. Hello, everybody. Once again, let's invite Minister Jacqueline of of who are a man for. Let me see. It's 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 be very long. Jacqueline, oh, it's very long. But I I I think it, it makes it more beautiful. Jacqueline, for you are a man for. If you can't mention all, because some people get it wrong most times. Jacqueline, oh, for you a man for another. So sometimes I tell them. If you can't write or or if you can't say or, just mention Jacqueline and that's all. We are good. Jacqueline. Time. Yeah. Okay, so let's invite Minister Jacqueline. Jacqueline here is for Minister Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, so Jacqueline, um, tell us, um, um, just recently, I think early this year, you, you, you brought out a new single. Tell us about the song. 
Okay, so this song in particular is one of my songs from an upcoming EP I'm recording, and it's the Laugh Story EP. I actually have a song on the Laugh Story EP, which is titled Laugh Story. So the Miracle God, um, it's, it's a song I, I got in a dream. So in the dream, I was just singing, isn't it, isn't it, you're working miracles, oh. So when I woke up, honestly, if you would, if you would notice in dreams, when you get songs, most of the times the genre is not part. You don't know which genre the song is in. So when I woke up, I was like, okay, let me try and do this for this song in, in like with a 4-4 kind of, or let's say a hill song or something. Um, so I was like, okay, I think an Afrobeat will work. So let me try with Afrobeat. So I told Reynold, who even before I had no, I didn't know what to do with the song. He was already in love with just the chorus I did for him. So later on, I sat down. Then I wrote the lyrics. And every, every word I wrote, because this is a testimony I'm giving myself. And I'm sure it's working for someone else. Because obviously with the same testimony or probably a similar one. So I wrote down the lyrics. And every word I brought out was, 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 was a word that was inspired by the Holy Spirit. So that's, so, that's how. Uh, maybe someone watching may not understand what you mean by EP. Yeah, can you briefly open up so, about that? Um, an, an EP is an external play. That's, that's the, it's the abbreviation, external play, EP. So with that one, most of the times it's, it's, it's like an album, but it's not an album. The, the songs that can be found on an EP, it's few. It's few, sorry, as compared to that on an album. An album can have... Let's say a number of songs like 10, 11, and all that. But with an EP, you can have like five, sometimes even four, or probably six. Yeah, so it's, it's similar to an album, but not an album. Because com comparing the songs on both, this one has few songs, the other has more. Yeah. So with the song Miracle God, um, did you... How, does it mean in a dream you had the whole, both the chorus, the verses, everything in the dream? Or how, how did, you, did you get to have that concept? With, with me, most of the times I get my, all the songs that are on the EP that I'm about bringing out, most of them, I get the lyrics, I, got, I get the chorus from dreams. Then I sit down to, that will guide me to write my lyrics. So let's say Miracle God. Okay, so... What makes God a miracle God? What am I writing about? So, and most of the times I want my lyrics to be as simple but then deep. Very simple to get, but then when you think about it, you know this is so true. So that's how I, I, I put down my lyrics. Not all of them do I get everything, chorus, verses, no. Sometimes you, you don't even, even the chorus, what's it? But then you have to pray more about it so that you get the full picture. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. So, aside from the miracle God, um, ad, well, what are the other tracks that you are about to bring out? Oh, so I have, I have, I already have my my titles written down. So, I have. It's actually the the EP actually tells a story. story. So, the first song that should have come out was Dear God, but then, you see, sometimes you're watching a movie and they go pick. A place and you're like, ah. But time in a, a drew has say. Then later they tell you, like they, they send you back to let you know that, okay, this is what happened. Something like a flashback or something. So I decided to come out with Miracle God. So that when the dear God comes out, there's an explanation that, okay, so this is where the story came from. There was a point where I needed God so badly in my life. Okay, now he's in my life and he's working miracles in my life. There's a part where it's all romantic that I'm pouring out my love to God. I'm explaining the things that happens between me and God. The love, whatever that happens. Yeah, and there's a part where, um, let's say like dating, you're dating with you. So there's a part where we are at the altar and we are exchanging vows where I tell God, I have no other person than you. And that Uwumu and Kumu Menewa. With this project that you are working on, um, are there 
that um, do you have a management? Do you have people that you are working with, or you are working on your, or, or you are, it's just you? Okay, so um, I don't have a manager yet. I don't have any management team yet. But you see, there are people we call destiny helpers who come into your life and they make sure everything concerning you works out well. So with this project, I don't have a particular person I would say, say, okay, so this is the executive producer or this is the... No, I don't have anybody like that. But when the time is due, you see, you get people coming in to help you. So let's say with this um, song I brought out, I told Reynolds, Reynolds were like, no, no problem. Come and let's do this. I went, okay, so we need bass. Okay, I'll bring Ken. Do this for me. Okay, um, Salom, please kindly play the guitar for me. Okay, the designer, Manche, I beg you, do this thing for me. And that was how. So I don't have any management team for now. Okay. Yeah. So right now, um, are you looking forward in, um, of, um, into having a management? Like, um, if you had, I'm, I'm giving you a platform, um, to um, talk, like, talk to someone who wants to manage you. Um, like, what kind of person are you hoping to get? First of all, I need a friend. Yeah. Someone I can confide in. Someone I've known for some time. Not even, even if it's not someone I've known for a while, um, I wish to get someone who, who understands me. Then, someone who's God-fearing. Because there are people that, there are um, some gospel artists who, the people, are, the people who are managing them, they are Christians, all right, but when I say a Christian, not just any Christian, a God-believing, someone who, who, who has the Holy Spirit in them. Because I, I just can't pick anyone. When everything you do is about the Holy Spirit, and name Ramona, we, we have our own definition of Christian. But then when we talk about a Christian, it means someone who, who believes in God, who trusts in God, who has the Holy Spirit and all that. So before you can manage me, you have to have that. Not just anybody. Someone who understands whatever I'm doing. Someone who can be a friend. Because I've had a couple of people that came around and you couldn't really feel that friendship or that Holy Spirit kind of thing in them. So that's, that's my two, the main, like, I mean, two main qualities I'm looking for. And I think when the person is God-fearing, a lot of things happen even without struggles. So these qualities that you are saying, it's like you are calling out your husband, my husband, when you are coming, please be like this, be like that. <laughs> or you are, you are attached. Oh, n no. I'm not, I'm not attached. That's the truth. Sometimes um, we go for interviews and they ask us and we go like, I don't want to talk about it, but, but that's the truth. I'm not dating. Yeah. So um, when we talk about a manager, you see we have female, lady, uh, female manage, managers. Is it managers? <laughs> <laughs> we have male manager. So which person do you prefer, a male or a female? Any of them. If the person is God fearing, understands me and all that, any of them. You see, there's this notion, am I right? There's this thing that female artists um, are not able to make it in Ghana. With, with, with such a comment or with such a statement, when you hear it, how, da how, how does, it, does it affect you and how? You see, these comments. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm in my house and I read most of the posts and all that. And once you've been called by God, okay, and you believe in whatever he has said concerning your life and you work towards it, okay, I believe I am an exemption. I'm not going to go through that. There's nothing like a female artist who doesn't make it in Ghana. Senipanona probably... However, life went for them, so things had to be put on hold and all that. I know at the end of everything, the will, for, the will of God for my life is what will come to pass. Okay. So, um, can you name um, f your favorite gospel artist in Ghana? 
female or female okay male gospel artist do you have any favorite male gospel artist i do i do the first one is onassis ifakonto it's my best i don't know when I'm onassis. To, yeah onassis i don't know when i'm going to hear anyone sing like him he's my father what makes him on um, um, um your favorite I like his voice. He he has the control. His voice is so different. I like people who are different. His voice is so different and all that. So Onassis, I think I like Akesi Brimpon too. Yeah. Um, um there are people I would mention their name, probably you don't know them. Yeah. I have I have a friend, Jehoshaphat Aqua. He's also my favorite. Um, let's, um, I'm talking about people who are popular, we know. Popular. Okay. So, so you've mentioned Onassis, Akes Bimpon. Bimpon. Yes. Okay. He's still, got it. He's still not really popular, but. But I can mention his name. He's Nanamwa. Nanamwa. Yeah. Where does he be? He's Kumasi Accra. Where? He's in Accra, but school's in Cape Coast. And when we talk about the female gospel artists in Ghana, can you mention some of your favorites? Ghana. Ghana. Niela. Niela. Yeah. Niela. Yeah. Niela. 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 Ife. Ife Grace. Yeah. Um, what about Diana Hamilton? Oh, I, I, I love her personality. But um, there are specific people that you. Yeah, I'm talking about even vocals. Yeah. Okay, vocals. Okay, okay. That, that's that's. So, we are. I admire the person, but not because of vocals. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, vocally, let me say like that. Yeah. So Efe, Nyela, um, na na I see you, but I don't know if himself are my first favorite. You, are, you, are, you, you yourself, you're a favorite. First, number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now that you're an up upcoming artist, see, most often um, the up upcoming artists, um, they get the chance of ministering or featuring in most popular, with most popular art gospel artists. For instance, um, Luigi McLean sure. was featured Bononi, um on Jometel's um, album. And um, um, who else? The, the um, jo Jason Autry. He, he featured this guy. Kingsley. Yeah. So and who who else? The female artists. That's what I'm gonna I mean, I mean, share them who say I'm only upcoming for no. So right now, if you are, you are, I want you to open up. Who are you? Op who are you hoping that um, a popular gospel artist? Who are you hoping that one day he or she would feature you? God willing. Hmm. I've not really thought of that. But if if I get the opportunity, I'll do a song with um, Akese. Akese Bim. Yeah. He's a reggae man. Are you into reggae? I think if you're if you're a musician in the in terms of professionalism, I think I think you have to be able to do Everything you don't have will be a too slow song on Kwan, or be your praises in Kwan, as we term it. I think it should be maybe you would have your comfort zone that you really vibe there, but I think you should be able to do all of them. So, I can say, apart from I can say, maybe the others are foreigners, but in Ghana, I can say. What about um, female gospel? Maybe. You. Female. Is it No. We don't really. Oh, I, I like her. She's good. But, uh, I think uh, the, the person I would want to do a song is would be Cindy Thompson. Hey. Is Cindy Thompson or Esther Smith? Wow. Yes. We listen to their song. Yeah, I, I love them. Their songs are very deep. Very. Esther Smith. It's been a while I heard of her. Like, I heard her doing something. Doing. So sometimes we will say, Oko Ben Hwaba. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't think she's currently in Ghana. So, yeah, young fan is all called Ben Hopper. But her songs are still raining. Yeah. Still the playlist. People are playing Yeah. Still the impact. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, wonderful people. Hey, I say wonderful people. <laughs> Okay, wonderful people. Once again, you're watching SKB TV and comedy. My name is Samson Ajakum, but you can simply call me SKB Records. This is SKB Exclusives. Earlier, I said um, I use this platform to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with upcoming artists, musicians, behind the scenes, and so and so forth. Today, I have Jacqueline Oforuwa hyphen Amanfo. <laughs> or you can simply call her Jacqueline. On the other person, you know, she doesn't want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so Jacqueline, um, right now, um, do you have any upcoming project? Yes, with my Love Story EP. Then, still continue with Saturday Morning Worship on Facebook. So aside from the music, um, is there any other um, um, profession that you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nurse. A nurse. Yeah. And how are you able to um, merge the nursing with the music? Are you able to make time for both? Initially, when when I was about entering into it, I thought of all those things. I was like, hey, Chadi, me too, I'm meeting me a idea. But you see, when when you pray to God for strength, it's not easy. Honestly, it's not because, yeah, let's say if I was just um, a nurse, when I close from work, I just go and sleep. But here's the case, you're doing something else. So you're a musician. After, from work, probably have this overdubs or there's this all night you have. You have to go and spend a whole lot of hours at the studio. Sometimes you have a program somewhere. Sometimes you have to travel. And because you have work the next morning, you have to make sure meal when you're done, Probably in Accra, you have to get the next bus coming to Kumase. So it's not easy, but when 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 God is with you, you're able to you gain favor. I work, oh Charlie, so I have this program. Oh, my and it works. So I'm able to turn myself around that. But still, it's not easy because oh, bread too much. You don't have some spare time and all that when when you you brought um the song miracle god um um have you had feedback from people like what are what are the feedbacks from people for the feedbacks like i said in the song you did do things where really they blew my mind so god god the feedbacks are mind blowing i can't I can't talk about all of them, the testimonies I keep on getting every single day. You get a message from someone or from people, screenshots and all that people loving the song. Not just loving, but I believe it's making an impact. Not just in Ghana, outside, people from Belgium, wow. from like Australia, from UK. PMing you, even not in your WhatsApp, like if even not on WhatsApp, they PM you on Facebook, Instagram, and all that, telling you how much they love the song. And me, when they get it, because they are in love with the song, you don't need to tell, like, I don't tell them, please share it. Because they love it, they just share it across. And I think it's, it keeps on spreading. Just like her, as I do, you know. <laughs> My younger brother is uh, the witness. I play it most often, me boy. Okay, so behind the camera is Kebit Pianos, and the one directing the camera is Sam's, Sam's Fit. Yeah, they are both my brothers, and they are both my, I won't say my sons. Yeah, so, because I'm a young boy, I shall say now, when you was son, 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 son. So, I say they are my little brothers, and I'm training them for this production work, and they are being supportive. Yes, uh, make sure I say, my name is Cleo, you know. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Don't show me. <laughs> okay, so who is your celebrity? Do you have any celebrity crush? Hmm. Real celebrity crush. Yeah, my me boy say can because of the R and the L, you know, someone can pick it and say No, I don't know. You don't know. You like to um John Dumel. Mm, no. Don't hate him. Don't follow him. Don't follow him. Magic mission. Mm, not really. Jesus is not. Jackie up here. No. Oh, oh. 
Anama McBrown. Anama? McBrown. Wow. Yeah, what makes you like her? She's, she's, she's hardworking. She's good with whatever she's doing now, with acting. If it's about presenting, she's good. And I think everybody knows that with whatever she does, she's good. And sometimes when you listen to the stories she, she says about herself, Utimu's a break and she keeps on moving on and all that. So, yeah. So, um, so my mom is down, Stacia Martin. Stacia Martin? Yeah, um, I think she. She's supposed to. Um, ins inspiration or something. Yeah. Mm. And I, those who are closer to me know that I like I like Miss V. Miss V. Yeah. Uh, Miss V. Uh, Miss V. Uh, uh, Miss V. Wow, beautiful. Has anybody told you you sing somehow like Beyonce? Uh, okay, I think I've heard that before. Before. Yeah. Was it uh, recently or? Uh, oh. Okay. In the beginning, I heard people saying that we're all trying to make it. Ghana, Ghana, want to Ghana, Ghana. We're a foreigner. But then, like of late, you get people saying you sound like this foreigner, or you sound like Beyonce, or there's they wouldn't say you sound like her, but I'm like I say you have something you do, it's similar. But she's not someone I follow. She's not someone you follow, but you've heard people, some people yeah. saying that, wow, wow, wow. If you meet yesterday night, I even said, yeah. I said, I'm going to yeah, tag you. you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so wonderful people. This is SK Beats Exclusives. My number is 248 Looking at what is happening in case you want to support in cash or in kind. That is my mobile money. I feel this. very, very something bad about these. <laughs> it just supports, you know, what I'm talking about. Okay, so that that is just by the way. Um, so Jackie, right now uh, that you are an artist, and um, does it conflict with um, the other groups? Do you join any other musical groups? I do. I'm part of CBC Incorporated. I'm part of Rings of Love. Moreover, I'm, I'm helping a brother. I'm part of his group, Nava. Okay. He's not currently he's not in Ghana, okay. but I support him. Yeah. So, but you better understand on each other in your group because it's one artist we are following. But with this, with the two I mentioned, yeah, it's a group I I join. Okay. Right now that you join these groups and you your personal, you are an artist. Um, do you find in such a way that um, because of this, maybe as a or or you are still going to be with them? I'm still with them. I'm still with them. Rings of Love is in Sunyane and CBC in Kumasi. So most of the times I know how to schedule my time. It's not all the time I can be with them. There are times I have, I need to get time for myself. There are times too I put mine on hold to have time for them. So that's how I do it. There are times mine I'm going to do mine. There are times I do this. Yeah. I think this is going to be it. We'll continue another time. I want her to go and rest. Um, I came here around like today. Today's date is, um, is it 19th. Today is 19th of January 2020. Yes. Right after church service. Today's Sunday. Right after church service, we decided to meet and have this interview. So I want her to go and rest. <laughs> But then before she, she goes, um, do you have any word for people who follow you or maybe the, the, the person watching might be a stranger. He wants to know more about you. What are your words that you want to share with them? Something. Okay, so my name is Jacqueline Uforua Mamfo. And God bless you. Those who have been following me on Saturday morning worship, like I mean on Facebook, those who support are people They've been following for three years now, and they've been so supportive, liking, sharing, and all that. I know there are people that they haven't been able to get to me, but really admire me, and they pray for me. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. And if you've still not gotten Miracle God, go and get it, or PM me on Facebook. My handles are Jacqueline Ophara on Facebook. 
same on Instagram, same on YouTube, same on Twitter, everywhere. So just PM me and I'll send it. And I've been doing that. It's a whole lot of work, but I know it's, it's, it's a blessing. So I want you to be a blessing. Just PM me and I'll send it to you. There are many different types of people, uh, different spellings for the Jacqueline. What's your Jacqueline? Okay, so mine is J A C Q U E L Y N. L Y. Yeah, L Y. L Y. Okay, would you like to share your number to them in case someone wants to call you or you want them to? Your number? For now, I think I would want to keep my number to myself. You know, I don't have an, um, a separate number for business and the other for personal. I'm very, I'm very active on social media, very, very active. So whenever, any time you send me a message, I'll just get it and all those have been replying. So just send me a message. If there's a need for me to give you, give you my number, I'll just give it to you. Yeah. So where do you church? Okay, I was about saying that maybe I... <laughs> Living Waters Assemblies of God in Kumasi, top high. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Samson Ajekum, but you can call me SKB to Records. If this is your first time watching this video, please do well to subscribe, like, and also hit the notification button. I do varieties of videos, so um, when you hit the notification button, you'll be prompted um, when, or given an alert when I bring this similar videos because I do other filmings and also I have another YouTube channel Andy Plus Comedy for that is um, I used to manage um, um, some actors and actresses comedians in Accra um, but then it's more of comedy but they are a little bit of filming so you can check that out to you and subscribe as well but then don't forget to comment as well yes I know me and G didn't say, but hey, you know, be be a and to pass and kaka kaka. So when you get to watch this video, just come down, comment, say something. Hi, I love the video. Even if you try and say hi, I don't like it. Don't worry, it's social media. We understand all these things. Okay, so once again, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, and her name is Jacqueline. Uh, Jacqueline Oforiwa hyphen a mouthful. You can check her on YouTube, Jacqueline. You click on Jacqueline, it'll pop, it'll pop up. Yes. So, at this point, I just want to say bye bye. Jacqueline, say bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>